Alrighty, welcome back. Great to have you with us. It is coming up eight minutes away from nine. Sarah Herbolt has Hellerman Strife Syndrome. The rare disorder, among other things, left her legally blind, but she prefers the term partially sighted because that is the kind of person she is. However you describe it, it hasn't held her back. Quite the opposite. She's now a daring circus performer specialising in aerial work. She's even performed with Cirque du Soleil. Now she's bringing the story of a historical freak show character to the stage in her one-woman production, Cuckoo the Bird Girl. Uh, Sarah Herbolt uh, joins me now. Sarah, good morning to you. Good morning. Thanks so much for joining us. Um, tell me about, there's so much to talk to you about, tell me first about your show, Cuckoo. Cuckoo the Bird Girl is a one-woman show where I talk about the life of Minnie Woolsey. Now, she's an amazing freak show performer, born in 1880, starred in the movie Freaks, 1932, and she had such a fascinating life that I just wanted to bring it to stage. So did you sort of, you've, you've, you've found her story and you just uh, admired what you found out about her? Yeah, I was blown away. She was raised at an institution. She got dumped. She wasn't wanted. She joined the circus. She escaped the institution. She ended up a star in New York. That's amazing for that time. Yeah, that is amazing. And the the thing is, of course, as a result of um, the condition, the very rare condition mm. that you suffer, mm. there are some similarities between the two of you, aren't there? I'm the only person in this world that can tell this story. It's that similar. Like, our, our appearance is that similar. When did you first, can you remember when you first realised you were different from, from other children? Um, I was kind of treated the same because I'm human like anyone else, but mm. there were definitely moments where I was like, yeah, I look a bit different, especially as a teenager, a real identity phase of like, who am I? Why do I look different? So I guess I wanted to channel those ideas of identity into the show as well and kind of go, actually... It's actually super cool to be different. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but how do you how do you get to that realization yourself because as you would know, many people mm. who are different, particularly people who are different because they mm. have had an accident or because they have sure. a disease or something, then they take that on board as sort of some uh, something that will hold them back for the rest of their lives. Yeah, and look, to be honest, to be different is is a vulnerability. It is it is something that's seen as weak. It's something that's seen as you know, not the best as, as something else. Mm. So I kind of think, well, we have to acknowledge that. Yep, we do have some weaknesses and, and some difference, but actually we can flip that around and turn that into strengths. And actually I just decided I want to do things in this lifetime, so I'm just going to go do them. But it did take a little while to actually get to that point and I just had to chip away at it and see what my support networks were and just learn some skills and, and do my art. So you've you've done what um, advertising agencies suggest people do, which is um, accentuate the positive to eliminate the negative, haven't you? Yeah, I think that um, people who are a bit different or unique, you know, have a lot of strengths and a lot of things to give to this world. I think that, you know, for me, people might think that I'm not so observant because I have partial sight, like I, I won't see things in this world. But actually, I think blind and partially sighted people are actually the most observant in this world. Because so you're really forced to be because other, other senses take over, Absolutely. don't they? Absolutely, yeah. And and we stop and we need to work out what this visual world is. So um, we take time to do that. Some of your performance is very, very physical. I mean, you yeah. work on the, the, what do you call it? The the ribbons, not ribbons. Yeah, the, the silks. Sort of, the silks. Yeah. So you have, now I would have thought that being technically blind would make that quite tricky. Yeah, it's a little bit tricky. I am um, <laughs> one of the only, you know, partially sighted circus performers in the world um, and it takes time to learn the skill but actually once I've learnt it, uh, I, I use my sense of feeling. I, you don't really need to see to do aerials. Is there, a, is there a point at which you become sought after because of your different looks? I hope so. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> because, you know, I've, I've seen some pictures of you and performances and that. Yeah. And you look truly captivating. Thank and you. And extraordinary. I mean, it's just, it's wonderful. I mean, the expression that you can get, which is truly unique to you. It is. I like to bring something special to the stage and to any performance. Um, yeah, I think I am increasingly being sought for my difference. I was picked out for Adelaide Fringe Festival to be with Sideshow Wonderland to work alongside the Lizard Man because mm. I look different. So I'm pretty stoked with that. 
The difference is, you know, and it's interesting you mentioned the lizard man because I've I've talked to him overseas, and he has gone to an awful lot of trouble to look <laughs> yes. and an awful lot of pain to look the way he looks. Whereas this, in a sense, and this comes back full circle to what I was saying before, mm. you're treating this as almost a gift to you, mm. whereas many people would see it as as more of a handicap. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So, what's the message? Do you think, or do you think people people will be seeing what the message is now and hearing the message? Um, I guess I'm doing Cuckoo the Bird Girl as a story because it's an amazing story of triumph and and also I want to honour a history. Mm. So for me, I'm doing my show to honour a legacy of performers that, that are on the fringe. The, the message for me in my lifetime is that we can do what we want to do. Um, I want to perform. I want to take the show on the road, so I'm going to do it. A lot of people have said that I can't. I don't I, – I'm a very niche market, so um, – but there are advantages to that. So my message is just just work it. Fantastic. Sarah, thank you so much for coming in. All the very best with the show. You're welcome. Take thank care. You. That's Sarah Herbolt. Um, now, if you want to see Sarah in action, and why wouldn't you? She is performing at the Interact Disability Arts Festival from the 21st to the 23rd of October at the Corbin Estate Arts Centre in Auckland. Otherwise, her show Cuckoo the Bird Girl opens on November the 11th. All of the details are on our website, paulhenry.co.nz. Charlotte,